All right, what's up, everybody? Well, this video right here is gonna have a few short clips from your boy. Uh, well, not your fucking boy, but uh, sporting icons. You know what I'm saying? This dude is basically a motherfucking liar, and he just basically spewing out poison to uh. You know, his his followers or whatever the case is, minions or whatever you want to fucking call these cats. And um, the, the guy lies over and over again. Uh, this is just two instances uh, that, that, you know, I caught him in that he's a fucking lie. Because I really don't watch his videos through and through because I get disgusted. I start, I start getting dizzy and nauseated. So, yeah, uh, we're just going to let it roll for a little bit. But Oh, oh yeah. Um, and, and, and I really don't give a fuck if, he, if he's like, well... This guy is playing my clips in my video, uh, in his videos and stuff like that. Well, motherfucker, don't put your shit on fucking YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You do the same fucking thing. You fucking play videos from uh from other sources, and you get your fucking news from other sources. You or either you be playing like you fucking um, uh, oh boy, and read the rainbow, reading out loud and shit like that. But um, you know, let the shit roll. Prude, Frank Warren dropped the bone straight out of his mouth when he said that the 50 million was coming from BT Sport. Not Al Heyman, not anywhere else, coming from BT Sport. Anthony Joshua can't fart on BT Sport. He's legally obligated to fart on Sky. No shit, Sherlock. You know what, I don't, I don't, I don't get this cat. Like, he, Anthony, look, if they was giving giving up 50 to 80 mil to this dude like Frank Warren said like what all the experts uh is is, is predicting he would have got for that fight right you would want to get the TV rights for both sides you see what I'm saying because you are the one putting up 50 to 80 million dollars so why should the broadcasting rights why should Anthony Joshua and that matchroom boxing employee have any broadcasting rights? It's called recouping your fucking funds. If Eddie Hearn wants 50 million up front, if you want to see the proof of funds, if you want to see, if you want to see all that shit, then y'all and y'all want to fight. How come he can't get the broadcasting rights? And then like he then like Frank Warren said, I'm gonna play that clip too. It don't matter what fucking what fucking broadcasting that goes on. Really? How come you didn't accept the money? And also, there's nothing saying Sky Sports couldn't have making fucking exemption. There's nothing saying Sky Sports would have said, okay, you BT could play the fight, but we gonna need this. Or we both gonna play the fight, but we gonna need this. There's nothing saying that. All you doing is playing, putting doubt within you. You putting, you planting doubt in your fucking fans' minds, so they can, so you can fucking easily manipulate their ass. That's what the fuck you doing. Act like I don't peep games, sucker. Now listen to Frank Warren. That's what they were doing. They were, they offered the, <coughs> excuse me, the guarantee of the fifty and the thirty, on the strength of buying the rights for, to put the fight on. Now you know, I'm sure. If I'd have been in Hearn's position, I wanted to fight, and I'd say, well, no, it's got to go on Sky. But the fact was, that was the conversations I was having with Shelley. We wanted to get it out. We wanted to put the fight on BT, and we had all the com lot of conversations about it. But I, like I said to him all along, I don't think they'll take it, because they don't want the fight, and that's how it's transpired. Do you think that an element of the breakdown in negotiations was because of that? Do you think no. that... Never in a million years. Look... Forget about the element of what TV channel it's on. It would have got, if it went on Sky, who gives a monkeys? You're turning down $80 million. That's what you're turning down. And there's only one reason you would turn down $80 million, because you don't want the fight. See, and, and, that, and that's the shit I don't understand. Like, you mean to tell me, <clears throat> you are saying that the reason, one of the reasons why this fight didn't happen is because of Frank Warren wanted to, to sport the, the, the fight on BT. You a motherfucking lie. Like Frank Warren said, it don't matter what, what what it was on. You know what I'm saying? As far as he fucking concerned, why you turned down 50 to 80 million dollars? Why do you care what it's on? All you have to do is just show up to the fucking fight. Now, we all know you got a little contract with Sky Sports, but that could have been handled. You, you, you 
It won't be the first fight that hasn't been handled. Legally. So don't come up here talking about some he's legally binding to fight on Sky Sports and Sky Sports only. Sky Sports and Sky Sports uh, as uh, propane and propane accessories. Come on, bruh. Lying ass motherfucker. All right, now we're going to get to the next clip. People talk about the 50 million. As it was proved, Frank Warren dropped the bone straight out of his mouth when he said that the 50 million was coming from BT Sport. Not Al Heyman, not anywhere else, coming from BT Sport. It don't matter where the money was coming from. Anthony Joshua asked for 50 million. Eddie Hearn asked for the proof of funds. As long as you got, as long as you got both of them, why does it fucking matter who brought up the fucking money? Huh? You know why it fucking matters? Because you, because you're trying to create space for your boy to get up out of this. Fuck all that dumb shit. If somebody's putting up 50 million, if somebody putting 25 million up for it, yes, you do want the, the TV broadcasting rights. You want that money. You want that money coming to your pocket. You don't want that money going to Anthony Joshua's pockets. Matchroom boxing pockets. You want that money. Reason why you want that money because you want to recruit your fucking funds that you gave to this sucker. Roll the next clip. Barry Hearn and him saying that he, um, in an ideal world, financially wise, even though he's an accountant himself or was before he got into the promotion game, it's all about finances. A fight between him or Joshua and Wilder is bigger in the future than what it is right now fight from a financial point of view. But even then, it makes no difference because he's not involved. He really isn't involved. Man, shut the fuck up. Look, that dude, he might not be... He probably signed his rights away or whatever the case may be, but we'll never know because y'all ain't transparent over there. But I'm going to tell you this. That's that boy's daddy. He gonna do what he telling them to do. Even though he ain't in control and he's, he's talking about that stuff, it's, it's very hard for me to, to sit back and, and, and watch everything transpires and stuff like that. But that's that boy's daddy. He came out of his nutsacks. He gonna do whatever he tell him to do. And you gonna talk about, he said, 2019-2020. That's, a, you got, motherfuckers has said that shit in 2017. Possibly 2016. There's articles out there on WBN boxing scene and all over YouTube that's that basically quoting Hearn and AJ talk about 19 2020. So come on, bruh. Don't be trying to make it seem like it's just we all trying to pick up on pick on AJ. Nah. We just want people to, to, to keep it real. That's all we want. You wouldn't have all the you wouldn't have all these people bad mouthing AJ talking about AJ on a daily fucking basis if motherfuckers like you kept it real, bitch ass motherfucker. All right, look, let's roll the clip from AJ. How about that? Interview was done in in 2017. I'll, matter of fact, I'll put that. I'll put the link description in in, 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 in on, uh, under the video. I put it in the video so y'all could go and see it. It comes on around 4:20 rush my career that's one thing i've learned is that i've got a career i need to map it out i'm going to take fights at the right time for me and um yeah if it's next year or the year after or the year after when i fight him i'll be in a position to beat i find it funny when you say even your world even though you're world champion yeah. people don't rush i don't want people to rush my career like you're still learning i'm thinking you're the top of the tree it's mad you're it's top, mad so so that hunger i told you nigga i'll fucking fight you when i fucking feel like it who the fuck you think you is? Ryan O'Neill or somebody? I better fight or else? Nigga, you better suck my dick. Man, roll that next clip. So, Deontay Wilder, of course, he's taken Tyson Fury because it's an easy fight for him. That's why Tony Bellew has been calling out Tyson Fury. That's why plenty of other people have been calling out Tyson Fury because they see him as vulnerable and easy to beat now rather than wait another year or so down the line. I mean, Anthony Joshua, when Tyson Fury was coming back, of course Tyson Fury's been talking about Joshua for the lo like the longest time, and even Joshua said, "Listen, you and me ain't gonna happen yet. You need to get back to your best before you come see me." That's his words. He was being a man about it. 
I want to take you on when you're at your best. I don't want people saying that I beat you before you... Shit. Motherfucker, Anthony Joshua says a, a whole bunch of shit. That's all he do. Talk shit. Blah, 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 blah. But guess what? I got some for your ass. I got a clip just for your funky ass. Throw that clip, son. Hey, just a quick one. Yeah. Obviously, Tyus Fury has been saying your name since his comeback. Yeah, what it's do you, good. What, it's did good. You, what do you make of his comeback and how much? How many more fights does he need before he comes Tyson's back? done well. He's a good fighter. There's no denying it. And we wish him all the best. So, honestly, if he wanted to fight me, he's more than welcome to make contact. Um, it's up to him. It's not up to me. I'm ready. I stay consistent. It's just up to him when he's ready. Yeah, this this motherfucker is a flat out fucking liar. Sporting icons is a fucking liar. You a damn fool. You a fool. This come. This is the same dude that says, as of right now, Dominic Brazil is a is a much dangerous fight than the Deontay Wilder fighting Tyson Fury. This comes out of the same same dude's mouth that says fucking Dillian White. It's a dangerous fight. Let me tell you something. If Anthony Joshua is not fighting Deontay Wilder, and he's fighting it, he's he's taking the easy way out. Ain't nobody out there for that motherfucker to fight. Nobody. Name somebody other than fucking Deontay Wilder he should be fighting right now. Huh? I bet you your bitch ass is say Dillian White. The Bati Mon Snatch. Fucking. Get the fuck out of here. Shit. And on that note, shout outs to the LDBC and everybody stay sucker free.